Update 5 finally released inside of King Legacy. And with it, they added a whole bunch of stuff, including a bunch of revamped swords, C3, a brand new awakened fruit, and also two brand new legendary fruit, the toy and gate fruit, which we are going to be showing off in this video. And yes, I'm buying the permanents because they're very valuable right now. I can't get them and people are selling them for a lot right now. So if you have been ready and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started because i want to use these new fruits because i just keep hearing good things about them all right here we go so we have the toy and gate fruit in the black market 3,000 robux and 2,350 i've heard really good things about both fruits specifically the toy fruit which apparently is very good for grinding so i want to do that one first and yes yet again i am buying the permanent because, like, it's going to take me forever to actually get physicals. And I just... Yeah, we're just going to buy it. So, let's see. The toy fruit. Let's see the abilities. So, we have five new abilities and also a top bar. Which is cha would change there. Very interesting. And, yes, I am dressed up as Sugar. The user of the toy fruit. So, I'm guessing... Uh, I'm using right now just so you can gauge what I'm using. I'm using Floppy's glasses right now. Because I've been farming the Fugitive boss for the Acro Spear video. That's gonna take so long, but I want to see how good this fruit is. So, Guardians of Punishment. Let's hold Z. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's the Nutcracker guy! Oh, that's cool! That's 16,000 damage. That isn't too bad. Keeps the enemies. That is the little toy soldier guy. That was the gladiator. That is cool. So, I don't like 15,000 damage from distance there. What if I get really close? Like, if I get really close, does it deal more damage? A bit more, 17,000. So I'm guessing I'm like I'm missing bullets. So probably better on big NPCs, but not a bad first ability. That is cool, the last attack. I like that. Okay. Next one is the Aerial Inferno. If I hold X, nothing. If I let go of it. Bad the America. This is literally just the America fruit. I love this. Oh my gosh, that was cool. One second. Let's do that from a distance. It's literally just an airstrike. Look at that! This is a, it's a, it's a biplane! This is the America America fruit. Yes, I agree with this. That does not do a lot of damage. That ability, that's not the best. That's probably better for groups of enemies. But look at that! If I, if I step back really far, you can see the biplane! That is awesome! New favorite fruit. Just on visuals. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, next one is Tactical Surprise. Let's see if I hold C. Oh, I'm holding presents! Okay, I'm guessing I throw them? I do! I want to summon balloons. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. Did not deal much damage, though. Yeah, that's like, like 11,000 with that. Is that is that life? Is that healing me? One second. Because it's making something go back to me. Let me take a bunch of damage real quick. There you go. I have no health now. Let's go ahead and use that on you again. Oh, that one did something different. That's like an like, ice thing. Is it always different? Let's do that again. Okay, that did ice again, which is doing a bunch of damage. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that was always different. Yeah, it keeps doing the ice one. It is something where a beam came back to me. Do I got to hold it to make it that? Oh, there we go. I don't know what that did. I don't, I don't think that healed me. If it did, it didn't heal me a lot. That is really cool, though. So it's like always slightly different. Like, that one had green, red, and green, which did balloons. Oh, I see. So, the different presents do different things. So I'm guessing the red ones, I'm guessing, are balloons. The green ones are explosions. And then there's a blue one for ice. Like, I should have all three. That's really interesting. Every every single present is slightly different. Okay, let's see. Next one is Aerial Decimation. Oh, my God. I'm riding a rocket. I'm dragging the enemy with me. And when it explodes, it deals damage. That's kind of cool. I am slightly confused on that. Let's try that again. If I just spin around in circles. Not too bad. 12,000 damage. Honestly, not the most damage. Look at that. That's that. That's a different effect. A little cyclone thing. That's another present. I think there's four different presents then. Okay. Four different effects. It looks, like the, it looks like these are always the same. And I, I can also let it go early to deal damage earlier. That is interesting. Okay, let's see what the last one is. Ancient Rumble. I think I know what this one is. If I hold it. Yeah, look at that. And it has a melee. Oh, and I have different 
Attacks now. One second. Ap apocalyptic Ember. This is a transformation. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. 16,000 damage. Not too bad. Consistently 16,000? Yeah, consistently 16,000. That's actually really good. Then we have Armageddon, which is raining presence from the sky. Very big AoE, though. So probably not the best for single NPCs. And then, of course, we have a melee. So this is kind of, this is like the uh, T-Rex fruit from Blox Fruits with a melee. But it's kind of hard to use. Let's test the Armageddon one more time. I just want to see it. If I hold it, nothing. If I let go... Not too bad. I like that. That's the next one. Shattering surprise. Hold it, nothing. Let go. Okay, it's throwing, it's throwing presents again. That's the same. And then destruction mode. Which is charging forward and grabbing the enemy. Not too bad. Let me, make sure, let, me, let me make it where they're not on the wall that time. Oh, and I actually just tap the X. That's good. Let's do this again. So just spit in a circle, grabbing it. That is cool. This is a very nice fruit. And this should and this one should be affected by the um where's the NPC at? Should we be over here? I think this one might be affected by the dinosaur appearance. I mean, let's test this. If I spend two gems on dinosaur appearance and then do it again. Yeah, there we go. We get different color. So yeah, that is affected by the dinosaur appearance roll. I like the pink one. Yeah, I like the pink one's nice. I'm gonna keep this one. It'll put my opponents in a false sense of security. You know, pink dinosaur. Honestly, this one isn't too bad because like none of the abilities are hold except except for the V. Very interesting. The only downside to this is that it is a transformation, so you can't use like your sword. Because like right now, like I'm, I've been using the Hell Sword. Hell Sword's actually really good for some reason. Like ten thousand and that another twenty thousand immediately. Yeah, honestly, not too bad. I like this fruit. Oh my gosh, that follows me around to the Armageddon. Oh, so this one, this one also technically has the mobility with this one. Can I dash? I haven't tested yet. I can. That's not too bad. You can also double jump. Has own animations for that too. That is interesting. This is a very good fruit. Very unique. I don't think I know. I don't think any other One Piece games have a toy fruit. Not to my knowledge, at least. Not the ones I've played. That is really, really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next fruit now. And I mean, honestly, you know how I am. I always have to look the parts. I don't know why it's so much more fun if you look like the character you're using. Because this is, even though the developers deny it, this is the Gojo Gojo fruit. You can also call this the Go Go fruit, the Gojo fruit, or the Honor to One fruit. I mean, all of those work. But let's see, we have five new abilities. War of Piercer, Walker, Vortex, that's a word. Uh, Vortex, Annihil Vortex Annihilator, and Dimensional Hopper. Okay, let's use this. Let's see how strong this one is. I've heard a lot of good things about this one too. So Z Warp Piercer. Hold nothing, let go. Oh, that was cool. Question, does it target enemies or does it target where I click? Where I click and it has a pretty far range. Wow. What if I what if I click like right there? That's pretty far away. Okay, that missed. So I, I still have to be pretty accurate. Just the general area. It swaps my position with the guy too. That's kind of cool. Plus so we have warp walker. That is cool. I can see this one being very annoying to fight against. Because that just straight teleports you to the enemy. That's nice. Okay. Then we have the third ability, C. Hold that thing. Let go. Did a punch. Well, the enemy hit me there, so I gotta do that again. Okay, let's see. Let go of it. Not too bad. So it dragged the enemy towards me. Let me kill him real quick. Could I reasonably just do this? Yeah, look at that. That's actually like really good. I like this fruit. It's very teleporty. Let's see. Vortex Annihilator. Hold nothing. Let go. Yep. You see what I mean? Gojo fruit. This is literally just Gojo. This is hollow purple. This is all. That was really cool, actually. How much damage did it deal? I didn't even see. Now, look at that. Not too bad. 5,000 damage and then there's an extra 11,000 once the ult hit. Not too bad, actually. Like, you can... I bet I bet people can find combos for this one real easily. Because that one, like, takes a while. So, like, all your cooldowns reset. That is cool. Okay, let's see the next one. Dimensional Hopper. Hold. Oh. Oh! Ah! Teleporting! One second. Let's go to C2. I might actually use this fruit a lot if this is let me go places. Because hear me out. Let's say there is like a sea beast that just spawned the server over here and you don't want to fly all the way over. A lot. 
There you go. That's not the right, but that was not where I wanted to go. Okay, I gotta learn where the teleports are. <laughs> I saw an F, but it was like, yep, that is gonna be, that's gonna be this place. There it is, that one. Look at that. Even teleports me the mansion too. I can set my spawn immediately. Yes, please. Oh, and there's an option for Legacy Island. Uh, does not look like it. His dock two is, yeah, this is where, this is the get the C3. Yeah, this is a nice fruit. I can literally get everywhere. The only thing you don't have is a, technically a mobility, like a long lasting one. The most you have like abilities that teleport you around like that one. That's good for running. That's good for chasing. Chasing too. I mean, what's the, what's the absolute limit? Well, that's a wall. So you can't teleport through walls, noted. What if I do it like this? That's not too bad. I mean, that's enough to make a difference and to confuse your enemies. And that one actually teleported me that time. It didn't teleport, it didn't teleport me last time I did that. And I bet that's locked behind the ability to... I, mean, I bet that one's locked behind being in PvP. I mean, it might not be because if it leaves a physical portal behind... Let's see. Does it leave a physical portal behind? It does, which you can enter. So yeah, th so yeah, you can chase people that teleport away. That is nice. Very much a fan. I mean, reasonably, you could also do that. The portals in weird locations to mess with people. Yeah, I like this fruit. I mean, just to see how much damage it does. I mean, that did like 50,000 total, practically. That is nice. Oh, you get bounties from these bosses too? I thought it would just be like within level. That's how people are getting bounties so fast. They're farming all the bosses. I like though. Big fan. Mainly because of this. I can now actually like teleport around. Oh my god, that's gonna make this quest so easy. Look at this. Ready? That, that, this, this? Uh, this one? Not that one. Why here? Of all the places. Disapprove. Snow? Not snow. Why here? I'm so confused on the locations they chose. What about lava? That's pretty literal. That's not where I wanted to go. That's a bit too far away from where I wanted to be. At least I can teleport right back to the box. Now there's also a, um, loaf teleport, so I can teleport directly to Big Mom. Okay, you know what? Let's go to C1. Oh, okay, this one has a lot more places because there's more islands. Yeah, that is nice. I'm already on the other side of the map, and I just joined a server. Well, bounty hunters are going to be a pain. I I also just realized that bounty hunters are going to be able to get everywhere immediately if they have the permanent. Really cool though. How, how much is the range on this? We'll grab the side enemies. Now they're just out of range. That is really fun though. That ability. Overall, a massive fan of the new legendaries. I still can't really gauge if they're good on damage or not because I'm not used to new damage amounts. Like I feel like everything deals low damage because I'm just not used to it. And that's with using the Dofi glasses, which is the highest fruit increase. I am still not used to the actual damage amounts, but I will say this one is definitely really fun. Solid 10 out of 10. Oh, I will say by the way, real quick, uh, I was fighting with people on Fugitive that were using this fruit. Um, if you're fighting with players, don't use your ult ability, your V, because it prevents anyone else from dealing damage. They might, that might be fixed at some point, but like right now is really annoying if you're trying to kill stuff consistently and you have enough people to do that. And somebody uses that ability and it just prevents it from being killed for like 10 seconds. So keep that in mind. Just use your like other abilities instead. Unless by the time you see this video, that's not a problem. And in that case, have fun. It's a really cool ability. My gosh, I'm loving this update so much. I love, I love having new things to mess around with.